The rectangle ABCD has AB equal to 12 centimetres, AD equal to 8 centimetres, particles of masses 5 kilograms, 8 kilograms, 4 kilograms and 7 kilograms are placed along AB, BC, DC and AD respectively. The 5 kilogram mass is 4 centimetres from A, the 8 kilogram mass is 3 centimetres from B, the 4 kilogram mass is 7 centimetres from D and the 7 kilogram mass is 4 centimetres from A. Find the position of the centre of gravity of the system of particles. So essential here that we draw a diagram. So drawing a diagram. Okay, so here we have my diagram. So what I'm going to do, here I have my um, rectangle A, B, C, D. I have a weight of 5 kilograms, uh, 4 centimetres from A. So I set up some sort of coordinate system where A being the origin. So this is 4 from A. Um, the 8 kilogram mass is 3 centimetres from B. The 4 kilogram uh, mass is 7 centimetres from D. And the 7 kilogram mass is 4 centimetres from A. OK, don't forget, when you label rectangles, you sort of go, should go around anti-clockwise. Now, a better way of looking at this, maybe, is that it's looking at this, and then these forces are acting down at these points, P1, P2, P3, P4. And we've got to find, well, if we put the weights in this format, where is the centre of gravity of the... of the centre of gravity of this system of particles, where would it actually be? Okay, so now that we've got to draw our diagram, let's have a look at this. So we're going to have to find moments about this axis here and this axis here. This one here will give me x bar and this one here will give me y bar for the uh, centre of gravity. Okay, so the centre of gravity is going to be, we usually use x bar and y bar. So that will be there. And there, and we have a, a total mass at that point, and that will be the centre of gravity. You usually use the letter capital G for centre of mass. So we've got to find where is that position. So we'll use this coordinate system that we set up. So first of all, what we've got to do is resolve the uh, forces vertically, but we're actually for resolving perpendicular to the plane. So if we just go back here for one second, Look at this diagram. So we've got to resolve these forces uh, vertically, yeah? So we've got to sum all these forces up, and that will be equal to... That will allow us to find the total mass of these uh, individual masses. OK, so carrying on. So... So, resolving a perpendicular to the plane... Okay, we're going to have 5G, because it's 5 kilograms here, plus 8G, plus 4G, plus 7G. And that will be equal to the total mass times gravity. So that will give me that the, the total mass is 24 kilograms of the sum of all these masses. is going to be 24 kilograms. Right, if we now equating moments about th this point here... OK, that will give me, this one here will be uh, 5G times 4. This one will be uh, 8G times 12. This one here will be 4G times 7. So just look at the X coordinates. OK, and this one will have no effect whatsoever, but we'll write it in. It'll be 7G times 0, so it'll have no effect. And that has to be equal to the total mass times gravity times x bar here. So it, all these will have to average out to be the same as this. So that gives me 20g, working each of these out. 96g, 28g will be equal to m, which is 24g times the x coordinate of the centre of gravity. And then the centre of gravity, 144g, will be 24g times x bar, and therefore the x coordinate will be 6. Right, now taking moments about this point here. So equating moments about the 
axis AB, so it's this one here. So we now look at the y coordinates of each of these. So that the first one will be 5g times 0, next one will be 8g times 3, the next one will be uh, 4g times 8, excuse me, and the next one will be 7g times 4. Okay, and that will have to be equal to the total mass times uh, g times the y coordinate of the center of gravity, which is what we're trying to find. So summing those up, that gives me 24g plus 32g plus 28g. m is 24. So it's 24g times y bar. Summing those up, it gives me 84g is equal to 24g times y bar. So it gives me that y bar is 3.5. So if we draw the diagram, that will it will look like that, where this is the 6 and this distance here is 3.5. So if we look at it like in 3D, it will have to look like that. Okay, so these particles will give these centre of masses. So final conclusion, the centre of gravity is at a point 6 centimetres from AD, 6 centimetres from AD and 3.5 centimetres uh, from AD. A, B, so this is 3.56, and then it also lies within the rectangle, which it must do. Okay, so now uh, I did do a GeoGebra app to go with this. This is where these diagrams come from. So the GeoGebra app, and just to give you a quick uh, view of it, will be here. Uh, it's initially set up for this particular example, but in the GeoGebra app, you've got sliders here that you can change the length and the weight. So just do a little bit of that. Okay, so you can actually change the size of the shape a little bit. You can change the, the masses if you wanted to. Lower down, we have the working, which I've just shown. It's a bit small to see on this video. And if you click here, it will put in the answer for you. Okay, so this has been a video. Oh, if you want to move the uh, particles along, you can move them with your mouse. Or if you're on an iPad, you can move them with your finger. Okay. And you can move them all around where you want to. Okay, so this GeoGebra app link will be in the notes of the video. I thank you very much for watching and I uh, hope you have understood.